All right, you guys, you know, check out how to create this GIF using a lot of AI and a little bit of Photoshop. And for this tutorial, of course, we're going to need some stock images. But instead of searching for stock images, I decided to go to Firefly and we're going to generate our stock images here. Now, before generating the correct images here, we're going to need to go to ChatGPT and I can ask ChatGPT to create the correct prompt for Firefly. So I'm pretty bad at describing things in details. And what I'm going to do is just type in simple prompts in here and ask ChatGPT to make it like more elaborate. So I'm going to type in create a prompt for Adobe Firefly from this text. And now you can type in whatever you want. And for example, I'm going to go with young woman posing portrait balloon in her right hand editorial photo shoot. She's dressed in white oversized t-shirts, yellow sunglasses. She has long blonde hair with playful pigtails, cool and sassy looking and playful, street style fashion and pink background. All right, so this is the base prompt that I'm gonna go with. Let's click on generate. And here, as you can see, ChatGPT, it customized the prompt. Here also, it recommends if you wanna put like different styles on it to make it look cartoon, 3D render and so on and so forth. But right now, I'm just gonna go with this prompt and later I'm gonna try it out with the other ones. So I'm gonna go to Firefly and here at the mode, make sure that you're on Firefly 4. Aspect ratio, I'm gonna go with widescreen first, content type photo, and I'm gonna lower the visual intensity all the way down. And let's go to the prompt. I'm gonna copy paste the prompt and click on generate. And boom, there you go. We got some girly results. I think I'm gonna change up the young woman to female model. And we're gonna have like pretty much the same results. You also can change up the aspect ratio. So this way it's gonna give like different results, vertical. And boom, there you go. And now we got like more wild results. I think they're a little bit messed up, but you're gonna need to keep generating until you're gonna find like the correct version. So I think this is pretty badass actually. We got like five fingers, everything is correct. Oh my God, look at this. Okay, so after a couple of attempts, we got some pretty nice results. All right, so from here, I'm gonna import one of the subjects into Photoshop. And here, I'm gonna need to remove the text first. So I'm gonna go here to remove tool, select the text, and I'm gonna click on the checkbox. And now all we need to do is just switch up the balloons a couple of times. And I'm gonna go and select this area here, including the fingers. And we're gonna go to the generative fill. And here, we're gonna type in something new, for example, lollipop and generate. So even in Photoshop, we are working with AI and generating stuff, which is really interesting. So here we can go and switch up the lollipop. Probably gonna go with a smaller size like this. So this is gonna be the first one. I'm also gonna switch up the glasses and I'm gonna select it and I'm gonna add like pink sunglasses. Oh wow, check this out. This is actually pretty good. So now I'm gonna go and select the background and I'm gonna unlock it and press and hold shift press Ctrl J to duplicate all the three layers. And I'm gonna go and select these ones, press and hold Shift, press Ctrl G to group it. And here I'm gonna go and change up. Let's click on the thumbnail. And here all I need to do is just switch up the prompt. For example, add yellow flowers. So for this situation, I went with a big sunflower and I'm gonna select the layer with the sunglasses here at the thumbnail. And I'm gonna switch it to green sunglasses. So there we go. You can press and hold shift and select the layers, press control G to group them. And I'm going to repeat this one more time, press control G to duplicate. And here I can switch up the elements again. And there you go. This is the third one. And now let's go to the layers, right click on the first one. I'm going to select merge group and I'm going to go and merge one by one. So it's going to look like this. Now let's go to the window, select the timeline, create a video timeline. And here I'm going to go and zoom in. So this way I'm going to see the fifth frame. I'm going to press and hold shift, select all the layers. And I'm going to go to the fifth frame, click on the trim. And we're going to cut it, press on delete on these ones. And I'm going to push out the layers like so. And hit play. And there you go. And pretty much that's how I made this GIF using AI like 85%. Hope it helped and thanks for watching.